All right, folks, welcome back to the WPC Ace League. It has been a great evening casting for you here on Beyond the Summit, but it is DK our last series of the evening. Bad. DK versus Dreamtime, a two-game series coming out between really the juggernaut and the underdog. Thank you so much for joining us once again. My name is Mott, and for the last time, well, I guess second to last time, it's Pimp Michael. How are you doing, sir, Pimp? Absolutely wonderful. We had such a nice series in the last game here, and well... IG vs VG was absolutely crazy, and I can't wait to kick this thing off. Obviously, DK, the Dota Kings, they're looking really good, and they're arguably the best team in the world right now. So, well, you can't think of a better matchup than those two teams here, actually. Yeah, and honestly, Dreamtime, they're looking to secure a spot maybe in the playoffs right now. They need a couple wins going their way. They need some luck here against DK. They need to have a really good draft, some solid play, and maybe DK to group as well. And you, you said they're arguably DK the best team in the world, and I don't know if anyone will really argue with you after their performance at Starladder, not even dropping a game, getting an invite directly to the TI4, of course. And, well, they've just been playing really, really solid Dota for Radiant the past couple of months, pick. and... There's a new patch out now, and we'll see how they play with it. It's 6.81, but for now, they'll ban out some decent heroes with the Batrider and the Ember Spirit and the Invoker and Lycan on the other side of things. So, good start for both sides here. And once again, a Nature's Prophet pick very early on the game. We saw it in the last series, and, well, suddenly... I mean, the hero didn't get changed at all. What is this about the Nature's Prophet? What makes him so popular right now? I think it's the fact that people have played him for a long time, and... You can kind of trust your instincts when it comes to a Furion, and you can play decently well. And he's a hero that, you know, like you said, the patch didn't hit. So you can just kind of, I guess, Ten work around him remaining. and see what works with the Furion. He's always been strong. He'll continue to be strong up until Five probably TI4. Remaining. But I don't see him really not getting picked. I just think he's too good he's of a hero to time. pass up sometimes if you have an offlane slot, uh, slot still open, which Dreamtime certainly do. Deco, DK go for oh, the IO wow. pick. Wow, He's that is interesting. It's going to be MM wise with one of the best whips you can actually think of. And well, Weapon X, he's going to make some big plays here, I feel like. But what is the hero who are they going to be countering? I mean, comboing with. Is it going to be a Tiny? Is it going to be a CK? They're playing so much DK, but they also know to just not pick any sort of, I want to say, traditional combo hero with a Wisp, but just rely on someone like a Bad Rudder and an Invoker. Ten Those very active ten heroes. Ten. I mean, both are banned out right now, but you get the drift. You don't need this very strong combo Five hero if you can just play ten. with like four heroes and a Wisp anyways. Yeah, they'll pick up the Bounty Answer right now, which is really wow. interesting. Something we don't see very often in... Maybe they're thinking about doing something like an aggressive traveling, but with an IO, it's so strange to see that. I don't know. IO bounty answer combo doesn't kind of like, it's not really off the top of your head, and you're not like, well, that's amazing. That's going to be awesome. It certainly could work with Janata, track up, and Shruka Toss if you've got enough mana. But I think that's more than likely going to be a solo laner. I don't think they'll land that up with anybody, but a fun hero that we don't see too often, I'd say. Ten seconds. Yeah, definitely. And. Picking a Bounty Hunter so early in the draft is really surprising to me, I feel Five like. There's so many great offlaners in the pool right now. I mean, the only one really being banned out is going to be the Bat Rider. He's a very strong offlaner, but that's all there is to it. And there's still a Clockwork, or there's still Timbersaw. I don't know, like everything you can think of. And still, centaur. they go for a Bounty Hunter. Yes, exactly. And this is DK we're talking about. They are so known for the Centaur. Well, I think one of the reasons they picked this kind of lineup is because they're going up against Dream Time. They haven't really secured a slot yet in the playoffs, but Ten they're looking solid. Remaining. So maybe they can experiment a bit and get away with some crazy kind of draft here Five with Bounty Hunter and IO. Remaining. Whereas for Dream Time, they have the Chen and they have the Nature's Prophet. And that, I kind of guess, screams a little bit Reserve of a push time. coming out from, obviously, both of those heroes with the Treants, with whatever Chen wants to get with his Holy Persuasion. They've got potential to take down some towers in, a, I guess, a very quick raid as well. We'll see what comes up with the next bands, but I don't know. It's exciting. DK, I would have said Ursa with the IO, but now with the Bounty Hunter, I don't know what they're going to do. I don't, my whole kind of perspective has been thrown off, so <laughs> we'll see. DK's turn yeah, to um, the thing is also, Radiant if you spot a Wisp back. and a Bounty Hunter very early on in the draft, against an Aegis Prophet and a Chen, this is shaping up to be a push strategy here from DT. So if you go Ursa, you don't have any sort of anti-push right now. Tiny, he's pretty good. Yeah, he can just, you know, have an accept to just clear all the waves out. And hmm, I'm really not sure how this is going to be pacing out because you mentioned it like pretty much every combo hero Five with a wisp, maybe apart from the tiny really, is going to be, and maybe the Luna as well, but they're still not that great anti pushes and time. dream time. They just have so much push right now, and maybe they just go full out push, pick up a Pugna, and just go at those towers. I, I would prefer not to see a Pugna, but I can see where you're coming from, and I think really they have all the push they really need. 
especially in the early laning phase, if this bounty hunter's in the off lane, all you have to do is push his lane and he can't do anything. He can't CS, he can't stay up and try to fight you, he can't pull the creep wave back as easily as some other heroes can. So if bounty hunter's in the off lane, Dreamtime can certainly kind of dictate the play and get an early tier 1 tower, maybe even a tier 2 tower with the right creeps going their way. However, DK, they might go for an or unorthodox kind of lineup here and have the Bounty Hunter paired up with the IO. They have creep clearing abilities if they can get some decent, I guess, heroes. Maybe go for something like a Sand King, but then again, who knows? Uh, there are some other options, obviously. They'll ban out the Centaur. Mm -hmm. Dreamtime know just as DK much as we do that. DK ban. love their Centaur and their Invoker together. Obviously, now they're available anymore, but still, there's a lot of options here for DK to draft up. I think we'll probably see. I can't. I honestly have no idea what DK are going to pick up, man. I, I have no <laughs> clue what they're going to do here. It is crazy. Yeah, and well, DK picking up the bounty and they could lane him as an EG Five style one remaining. position, yeah. quote unquote, in the safe lane. This could be a possibility. And also, what I like about the Brewmaster pick um, ban actually against air. This guy plays some absolutely crazy Brewmaster. So banning this one out, it's. I want to say it's a safer play, even though there's going to be a lot of pushing heroes, maybe coming up from Deem time so that is still in the range of possibilities and the dragon knight ban now that's a really good ban out so yeah. no corrosive breath that's so big yeah i mean and they're gonna go for the tiny oh here we go you talked about it tiny with avalanche and on top of that obviously getting an ag scepter can clear down creep waves pretty quickly and he'll do a nice job of countering that push the dk ban was really smart that hero was so good at really just taking down towers when you give him a moment to breathe no pun intended, obviously, with that Breathe Fire and Cross of Breath. But yeah, Elder Dragon mm. form would be really nice to have. They won't get it this time around. I still don't think Dreamtime should go for like a Pugno or a Death Prophet, but they'll pick up an Omni wow. now. Yes! Oh my Dream gosh, my my friends and I have wanted this hero to be viable for so long. It may be Dreamtime. They'll be the first they'll be the first to do it. They'll be the pioneers of the Omni Knight. Well, Ike's Mike plays like offlane Omni Knight, but I'm not sure if you can compare this. I mean, yeah, but I expect there's a lot of things, and yeah, a lot of those exactly. things aren't really the best thing in the world. So, but uh, I don't know, man. I don't know. I mean, it, it, I don't think there's room for an offlane Omni Knight here because they have the Furion. So, mm. I think it's got to be a core because I don't Five feel like a support Omni Knight with a Chen in the jungle is really that great. That just doesn't seem good to me at all. But yeah, exactly. I absolutely agree. You don't have the lockdown. You don't have the CC abilities in order to push the Omni Knight in your lineup and a five position Omni Knight dude I I don't know like it's not good yeah well, well I just see. don't see it yeah I, I don't see it either man I mid Omni is like sort of a thing I guess I don't think it's gonna be off lane it could be like solo safe but then you'd have to like aggro the Chen but then that where does that leave the Furion there's a whole lot of questions in my mind DK that's the second oh time we've Radiant seen a coddle in the past two games that's unbelievable. They want counter push. They've got it with the Keeper of the Light, but uh, whoa, whoa. is this Dota? What are we watching exactly? I don't know what this game is anymore. Well, I can tell you it's no other MOBA. <laughs> it's just how it is, you know. Yeah. Seeing DK, hell yeah, that's one of my dreams. Uh, I don't know, seriously. Keeper of the Light. Although I have to say, back in 6.8, like 6.80, when everyone was picking counter push, uh, no, pick and push, like very early on when the draft hits, like Pugna and, and, and everyone, Chen, Nature's Prophet, you know, those five-man push lineups? Yeah. I wondered why Keeper of the Light wouldn't be picked up, and I think it was just because his mana drain Ten was completely crappy. It just didn't work. Way too slow, and no one was five having mana issues anyways. Remaining. And he doesn't have any sort of control, but if you have the control with a tiny wisp, who doesn't need, I mean, they don't need control, just He's go in there and tiny. kill people, right? Yeah. Screw him. Yeah. Well, Maybe it's great, but what do you think of the Chaos Knight? Because I have absolutely Radiant no clue what's going on anymore. I'm completely baffled. I just don't know. They have, like, no range support coming out right now, except for the Chen, which could be good if he rotates early on. But the CK in lane with an Omni Knight really is interesting. You can repel him. I mean, I think Reality Rift into Purification is an okay combo, but, like, that's a <laughs> okay. bit, like... That's like a bit like, Five I don't know, kind of remaining. niche and like weird to kind of, it's like you're kind of banking on that one ability, well, I guess those time. two abilities together. It doesn't make sense for me why they picked this lineup, but who am I to argue pick. with Dream Time and, well, Super is drafting, so I guess we'll see. DK, they have an interesting lineup themselves, and they'll pick up their last hero in just a second. And they have the Coddle, they have the IO, so they don't really need support. Maybe a mid here, perhaps, unless they want to lane it a bit crazier. I don't know, they've got a lot of options here, and we'll see if Mushi wants to pick up something crazier. Brennan gives Mushi something a little weird. You mean crazier than 
what we have what we have already Ten i mean seconds uh, i don't know like i'm completely out i got yeah right, well, okay that's, that's standard. standard yeah thank so god we got something that? going for us <laughs> yeah it's like oh yeah it's a puck it's probably mid and like it turns out to be like a solo safe lane or an off lane puck i'm just like well uh, i guess we lost but no that that makes sense uh control the team fight dream quill is really good to have Lockdown, waiting rift on a couple of these heroes is going to be really nice. Like a chance so you can't get Hand of God off. Omni Knight. I mean, they have a lot of healing, which is really crazy. So Dream Time, instead of going for something like a Dazzle, which is really strong and healing and keeping heroes alive, they go for two heroes and kind of go overkill to a certain extent. But I don't know. Dream Time, this this last Five pick is going to have to wow remaining. me. Uh, what? All right. <laughs> well, she's got the range. Well, you know. She does. She certainly does have I the guess. range. She's got Laguna Blade, too. Uh, Light Strike Array is pretty good for, I guess, relocate ganks. And um, Dragon Slave is good for, I guess, pushing out waves. And New King as well. I'm just trying to, like, I'm just thinking of good things for these heroes right now. I am not really super impressed by either lineup. I'm just, I think DK is probably is better because, I don't know, it seems like with a, an IO, it kind of gives you that added bonus of kind of just, you don't know what's going to happen if you're Dream Time right now, but... Who knows, man? This is some wacky world that we're in right now. <laughs> it's going to be one hell of a game, guys, here. And actually, it's... Uh, I just can't wait to Ten get this thing going, going because we are, like, not getting it, honestly. I don't get it, you Five don't get it. So we're just going to wait and see how Dreamtime is going to be executing those fights. And I think especially the, learning, uh, the early landing stage is going to be so crucial. If they just make stuff happen, it's going to be all right, maybe. I mean, Super on Shin is going to have some farm, Prepare maybe Dreamy You and in July combination on the CK, Lina can pick up some kills. Maybe, I guess they have to, otherwise this game is going to be so hard. They are going aggro try, okay, I guess, yeah, it's going to be mid Omni Knight. I, I, the last time I talked about this with somebody was at MLG Columbus and I was like, yeah, it's a thing, just get Dejan or be fine, essentially, Purification does a lot of damage, just kind of stay alive and maybe go for an SNY eventually, but like, I never thought I'd see it in practice for Air. And against Mushi, who plays a damn good puck, this is going to be one interesting matchup. So, for introductions before we miss out on some kills here, for Dream Time, in July, he'll be on the Chaos Knight. Well, if Super on the Chen, Dreamy U is going to be on the Lena with that nice Arcana set. The mid lane, Air, that mid lane Omni Knight, and to round it all out, it looks like it's going to be solo safe XDD on the Fury on the Nature's Prophet. And on the side of the Dota Kings, DK, the best team in the world. We've got the offliner himself. We've got Ice 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 on the Bounty Hunter. And let's see how many contracts he's going to fulfill. In the mid lane, it's going to be the man himself, Mushi, on his park playmaking hero. Hell yeah, that's what we like from him. Well, we got the legend burning himself. On the tiny, he's going to be farming it up. X, Weapon X, aka MMY on a signature wisp. And of course, Lam. He's on the caudal, sporting quite the fancy hat. And well, it's going to be a try versus try, but. Going try versus try against the Keeper of the Light. That was the bane in the 6.78 era when the Coddle Cancer was so popular. And no one wanted to face a Tron against a Coddle. And still, he's so strong. Well, let's find out if they can do this. The thing is, the AoE from Illuminate has been drastically reduced since then. So the amount of damage that you could be pumping out is a little bit less, obviously. I mean, obviously it comes down to getting hit by it or not. And if they can set things up, we'll see. Coddle again, though, man. Two games in a row. What are the chances here? So... Looks like we're getting a bit of a pause. We're going to jump back into the game. I want to thank you guys for watching. You've been great this entire evening. Really supportive, obviously. Our last series, entering the first game. And this will probably be the last time I'm casting on BTS until I get over to LA and start doing the, the TI4 qualifiers. Begins. So I'm looking forward for that. But as of right now, Dream Time, they're looking to make some waves perhaps before the qualifiers start. Much like Arenda almost did in that last series. Well, two series ago between Vichy Gaming. So... Counter Ward coming out right now for Keep of the Light, making sure the Sentry Ward is gone. Well played from Lanham. Down bottom. Ice 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 is just going to take this Creep Wave away from XDD, and he'll just bring it back to his tower. So, he's already got boots. He's pretty speedy, and he'll be able to see us under his own t tower just fine. Do you reckon this ward actually blocks his own camp? Uh, I think they do. They don't want to give it away, right? I'm pretty sure that ward blocks the camp. I'd be very surprised if it didn't. I, I don't know mm. the exact warding, but... I, I mean, like, no, I just wonder. This ward here definitely blocks it. I've, I've seen it blocked before, so I'd have to imagine it blocks it. Mm, all right. Yeah. Also, I'm gonna be really curious how the Lina is gonna be playing out with a 670 range. This is the highest base range in the game. Only one being high should be Enchantress uh, with the Aghanim Scepter and of course Sniper. 
But still, like, this attack animation paired with the range, it is completely ridiculous. Yeah, I mean, she could just throw fireballs at Burning all day. And Burning's having a rough time right now getting CS. He's got three, I guess, but he's waiting for the wave to get pulled. And it is, Lanham. He didn't actually stack and pull. He just kind of pulled. And this will push out rather quickly. I don't think they mind. They could just pull again if they need to. Mid lane matchup, Mushi. He's leading the way in CS against the Omni Knight. No surprise there. But air is pretty tanky. And he, he could take a bit of harass here before really Denied. being in a bad position. He's probably got a bottle fairing out to him right now. He absolutely does. So oh. it really comes down to who's going to go for first blood. Who's going to get the first kill. It's oh. a bit interesting, I'd say. That potato in the top lane. Dying they're waiting. But tower. yeah, there goes your card land. I mean, Lam knows his stuff. He's not hitting the heroes right now, but he's going to be just hitting someone eventually. There's going to be an Illumina hitting, like, sometimes in the future. And suddenly, everyone's just so low and has to pot up. And as soon as you're out of regeneration, this aggro try is not going to be working out w too well. Yeah. Thing is, however, um, and I want to come back to mid lane. You mentioned it, like, Air is holding his ground. And he's actually 8 for 3 against the 5 for 2 of Mushi. So his attack animation is actually surprisingly well suited for the mid lane matchup, it feels like. Yeah, Omni Knight's attack animation is really nice. He doesn't really have much delay there. It's actually, it feels really like heavy and strong. And he does 63 base damage, so he doesn't need a Quelling Blade. So he should be fine. Uh, against Mushi, who Puck doesn't have the best animation in the world, it's not bad, but really he's going to get a bit of CS from his phase shift and what have you. He'll have to deal with maybe getting uh, purified if air runs up at him, but for the most part, Mushi should be okay here. Top lane, we're going to go back here. They're going to Riata Rift on Burning. They're going to throw up the the bolt as well. But look at that damage from the Illuminate that you talked about. The Spirits are going to town as well. Can they get this kill? It doesn't look like it. Super's going to run in right now. And that damage is just so real. Yeah, I mean, my bottom line, XCD is just getting toe-to-toe -to -toe with Ice Ice Ice. And Ice Ice Ice, man, he's got his Stealth Shit up ready to go, as well as an Orb of Venom. This is all you really need in order to bully out the Nature's Prophet out of the lane. And, well... He's now suddenly leading CS shots. This game is just so all over the place. I mean, we are top lane in July's getting sun up. It's a Cuddle Blast coming out onto Dreamy you, but he's going to be completely fine for the time being. And, well, so far so good. No one dying, as well as Mush in the mid lane. Just getting out here as by air. This is clowny as oh, hell. DJ Nora. Oh, the purification Ooh. just misses for air. That might have been enough to get the kill with another right click going his way. That was... Yep. That was ambitious, too, coming out from air. No bottom lane, though. XCD is forced to TP away. He needs to go in the base. Can Ice Ice Ice? Oh, nice! What a Shuriken! He's gonna get him! Ice 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 with a big place busting him out. And he's picking up the first blood, and suddenly, bottom lane being won by DK. Yeah, he's level 5 now. He's gonna hit level 6. He can start roaming around soon. He'll probably get his phase boots as well. Mid lane, they're gonna roam on Mushi, potentially, though. They have uh, Chen not too far behind. He was actually just sitting top for the longest time. He has a Wild Wing, which is not the best creep for ganking, however. So they won't be really getting much done. But yeah, Super was just sitting top, not really getting experience. It wasn't farming the jungle. But Ice, 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 getting that kill bottom is so big for them. Now TP may be coming in here. They're going to try to fight on Mushi. There's the purification. The sprout's up as well. He's got a phase shift. Illusory Orb is up and ready. He'll jaunt away. No. The right click from air. That is a big kill. One to one the score now in this game. Mm -hmm. And meanwhile, a ganking squad consisting of MMY as well as Lam is just doing something in their own jungle. Uh, they're finding... Uh oh this could be big. It's a one-second stun. Where is Dreamy you? He can't follow it up, but he doesn't need to. What a play coming out in July. Big Reality Rift. And Reality Rift is such a random ability. I mean, this is the Chaos Knight we're talking about, so he's completely random anyways. And he got even more random in the last patch. But the Reality Rift was just on point. Man, what a play. And it's now 2-1 on the board here for the side of DT. And somehow, some way, they make it work. I don't even know how they're going to do this here. But, well... Crazy stuff. They're going to cancel the clarity for burning right now, making sure he throws up that avalanche up on in July. And yeah, that was his kill. Toss is going to go as well. He's taking a lot of damage. But the thing is, yes, they, they've gotten a couple of kills, but they're still not doing that well in CS wise for Dreamtime. You look at burning, he's got 22 last hits right now, 25 for Ice Ice Ice. He's going to town at XDD. He used track, sprouts up Ice Ice Ice, immediately eats the tree and gets out of there in time. That was actually kind of close. So bottle up and maybe go again. With that track up on XDD, I don't think he should dive this, though. That'd be very brave. Oh, please, no. Yeah, he'll just, he'll ghost walk again. There is a sentry ward here for the radiant, but it's about to run out. So XDD will not have any vision on Ice 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 if he's ghost walk. So mid lane, Air is having a pretty great time. He's about tied with Mushi here. Mushi's looking for boots, maybe to an early blink dagger. We'll see. But Air, his item choice, I'm not sure what he's going to go for. You don't really know with the Nomini. Probably Arcane's first. Top lane, burning, avalanche, toss is going to come through as well. The tether slow is coming in, the dragon slave doing work, but not enough. DK, X in trouble, getting low, but now burning. Going to go to town on Dreamy and push him back. So Io gets that kill. 
And of course, the CK getting caught a bit up, a bit out of position. Excuse me. Yeah, and once again, this top lane. Uh, so we are six minutes in. Check on the CS. Somehow, some way, burning found twenty six CS. Yeah. You know. Yep. That's burning. Mm -hmm. Just saying. <laughs> Even though you got aggro Charland, it it was with a Chen. You have to keep this in mind. But still, th this guy's doing work. And well, okay. So how's going to be the game unfolding? Because top lane, there's Dreamy as well as in July. But can they really stay there? No. I don't think so. You're going to see it right now. Toss Avalanche is too strong. Plus, they don't have super. He's been down in the bottom jungle for a while. They can TP up. XCD is going for this courier right now. Can he get it? One, maybe two. No, it's going to have to require three. He can't get it. They turn on the boosters there. And the courier, which is named MMY, with a couple of Chinese characters, is going to get away there. So, kind of close gank. Mid lane. Air is chasing after Mushi right now. Mushi says no. He has nothing. He didn't have his face shift or his orb. He just used it. Air is going to work. His arcanes are done now. And... He's getting some levels top lane, though. Light Striker Ray lands on X. MMY try to get out. There's going to be the Avalanche hitting out of two. Toss as well. In July getting low. The Illuminate, not enough damage. 10 HP, so close. In July, thanking his lucky stars that that wasn't charged for half a second longer, or else he'd be dead. Ooh, yeah, boy. popping the magic stick. He's going to be fine. Bottom lane, though. XDD is once again being hunted here by Ice Ice. And well, there's a Shuriken, and that's all there is to it. He can just TP out if he wants to. Well, yeah, and he's exactly doing this. Dreamy is completely out of. Uh, he's got it! No. Just a little too late there for Dreamy U. That stun probably would have secured that kill, but that's a track kill Radiant's going again for Ice Ice. He picks up Treads, so he's going to be more of a carry force here. You usually see FaZe for this hero, but he's going to go Treads instead. He'll start roaming around soon, probably. Maybe take down Air, who's been kind of annoying. And I think that's the one thing Dreamtime have going for them right now, is Air. He's really the only one getting farm. He's sitting on 34 last hits right now. Top lane has been, I guess, a bit of a da disaster since Chen left, and Burning got a bit of farm. Burning is now sitting on very attack. close to a drum. You pick it up in about, I guess, a couple, actually like 50 gold or something. And, uh, yeah, they're they're feeling confident. But look at this. Mushi wrapping around with a smoke gank. Riyadh Rift is going to go. Toss Avalanche. Purification. Burning. Going to get Chaos Bolted. Two seconds. About to fall. No, he hit a creep instead. Burning. He gets tethered, but it doesn't matter. XDD TPing in. X will eat his way out. MMY trying to leave as fast as possible. No tether for five seconds. Purification. Air getting Mushi. another one there. Mushi getting caught out oh, now. What a dodge. He threw the Dream Coil up. Will he make it away? It looks like he will. No, the Sprout from the high ground. He's got no orb for a couple of seconds. Purification about to go. That'll grab the kill. Double kill for Air. He is putting in work air is rotating he's getting kills and he's being a part of these fights i'm just going to tell you he goes race car omni Purified. SMI. please, Middle tower please. Is under well i don't know i want to make it happen would you do you go do you go race car omni with like arcanes you do that is that a thing ah uh, maybe not quite but attack. i mean i don't know <laughs> i still think race car is hilarious i mean it, it would be awesome to see that and he probably like He's the most farmed on Dreamtime right now, so might as well, I guess. But They'll purify in July. Meanwhile, oh. Toss Avalanche, super, super getting caught out. But the TP from XDD, the tree eating, the body block coming through here in just a second. No, he he turned too soon, but the Light Strike Array is there. The Petan is coming to the Test of Faith. Excuse me, XDD, got to try to right-click him down. There's the tether coming through. And now MMY will help him out with the tether there. But they'll take the Tier 1 tower top with Air helping out in July getting the kill. Bottom, Ice 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 going to work on that Tier 1, but... Is under attack. Back and forth we go. I, it's kind of this is a close game, closer than you might expect. That was absolutely crazy. It's a wonderful game. And meanwhile, Ice Ice is just doing his work bottom lane. He's really doing some mad work here on the tower. And well, it's surprising to see at least. I mean, XTD, he's a nature's prophet, and still Ice is just building him out of the lane, as well as doing a lot of damage to the tower. Usually it's the other way around, really. Yeah. And. Man, wow, what a static there. I mean, but still, XCD just getting destroyed here. This is just Ice Ice Ice. He's got so much experience. This guy's been around forever, and, well, I mean, he's won numerous accolades for good reason, but XCD decides better than to stay and get killed by Mushi, who has his coil, I'm sure. And Mushi's had a bit of a rough start, actually. Going down twice, that's not usually what happens to Mushi in most of these games, but you can say the same thing for a lot of DK's players. Um... The thing is, though, in July still is not getting that much CS. He's only got treads right now, whereas there's a drum already done for burning. And they'll try to take attack. this tier 1 tower down bottom, and they'll probably get it as well. Uh, it shouldn't be an issue. Maybe it gets denied by these treants, but I don't think that's going to be the case. Could just kill him. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. Smarter play. Just play it safe. There is no way anyone else is going to just come in here. Yeah, there you go. And that's a big deal. I mean, Mushi, Radiance back in the day, he tended to tilt fallen. a lot. And still, when he's got a bad start, sometimes he just does some questionable plays. But this way around, I mean, if you just get the tower gold and you know you have a bounty hunter doing some completely crazy work, 
you can just sit back, you know, just let your team carry you for a bit, farm up a bit, get your blink dagger. And speaking of the blink dagger, he's gonna have it up rather soon. He's got 1.2k gold, so yeah. as soon as this is gonna be up, suddenly the puck is gonna be such a huge factor. Yeah, Dreamtime, for whatever reason, have made their home around this jungle area. Which is good, I guess, because it forces them to not be able to farm that area. Like, Mushi, if you wanted to go to the jungle and farm up some CS, you wouldn't be able to do so to get towards that blank dagger. But nonetheless, they're going to look for a gank top. They're going to wrap around here. The Courier? No, they're going to go for MMY instead of the time. Reality Rift. But nice tether down. reaction. The Chaos Bolt will still hit. It's a three-second stun, mind you. They're going to try to go for the kill. Wow. The Ouch. purification obliterating him. Ice 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 has TP'd up. Now the TP coming in from XDD. Burning caught out. He's got a Quelling Blade. He'll use it. I don't think they have any real way to kill him. No, they TP back in July. TP back to the tower. A Chaos Bolt going to come through. Two seconds done. What a play. Very, very ingenious coming out from the side of in July. To TP back to that tower. Air getting another double kill. And they're winning 7-3 to three in terms of kills. <laughs> My goodness. So is Air going for the Yules? Just Yule someone up, walk next to him, purification Purif yeah. kill. What? I hope for so. All right. I don't know. I mean, he'll be, be anything. sort of race car -y because he's walking fast with the old scepter. He won't do any damage. Oh, Mushi right. wants the tower. Oh, Mushi. Oh. Middle tower Not so. Top lane, down. super getting caught out. Tracks up. Cast Bolt flying. Four seconds down on Ice Ice Ice. There's the Laguna Blade. The toss finishes him off. On the other side of things, Burning going to town on Dreamy. You about to fall. Burning's pretty quick. He already popped the drum charge. Phase boots are going to go as well. Nice juke from Dreamy. It's not going to matter. Dead. Burning getting that double kill. Air not there in time. Seven to five the score. And DK is starting to get back into it a little bit. Yeah, and me, my bottom lane, XCD is finally getting some sort of space up here. He's got face, he's got his Midas up. And considering the bad start he had, he's still got a lot of CS going his way. And, uh, well, it's kind of funny to see Lam just pushing down a wave where the Nature's Prophet is just here. Um, he should be really careful, but there is so much support coming in. Mushi is waiting here. I don't think they saw him yet. He doesn't have a stagger, but 300 more gold, which means like one tower and maybe a few CS here and there. And oh, speaking of him, oh no! He missed the coil. Ah, Mushi. Power. That is unfortunate. Yeah, that could have been a kill there, and probably his blink dagger with it. But unfortunately, no such luck, and they'll have to back off. But have you noticed Lanham is getting a lot of space? Like, he's got almost 1,200 gold. And, yep. no, nope, burning top lane. Oh, nice relocate out. The Centaur Conqueror Stomp not going to be there. They might go in and fight this. It's only air and in July. They're really Radiant's out of mana here. Tower. Arcanes are going to be up. They're going to use it. They're going to repel first. Maybe it's just the IO. Oh, yeah. Oh, what? what? The... What just happened? Yeah, this is, if you tether to someone while in the air, like in the same server frame, meanwhile burning, um, there is a lot of right clicks, but it's not going to be going his way. And MMY now on the run, MMY, Radiant can you get away? Tower. Yes, There's nice tether. Attack. And he's going to be fine, it looks like. Yeah. He... That was absolutely crazy. Yeah, this is when you tether in the same server frame as you relocate. This is perfect timing. It's crazy. So, okay, so wait, one frame you said? I think, yeah, it's, it's, since Dota should be 20 FPS internally, so you have like, a very Radiant's narrow window. That's attack. crazy. I did not know that worked Dyer's out that way, but holy crap. I, mean, no I was is. really, really surprised that that worked, but he survived. Uh, gets from, they're going to try to push top, however, in the meantime, in July. He's got an Ogre Club now, he's got a Bracer, so he's getting a little bit closer to maybe some tier, top tier items for himself. And Well, with Repel, he doesn't necessarily need a BKB. He'd probably like it, though. Uh, I'm sure he'll build that next with that Ogre Club. They are pushing down this tower real hard, and there's nothing it seems like DK can do about this. Mushi, Dyer's his blink dagger is done. Fallen. Keep that in mind. Oh wait, he got recalled. Did he? Yeah, I'm stupid. Okay, I was like that. I was gonna take. I was so sure this, this was this bug because Nota did it once as well. Now Mushi's coming and he's got a nice dream call in July. Well, somehow, some way, there's no one falling up. Nice guardian angel. Ice, 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 purified, taking right click damage. And ghost walk away. He's pretty speedy. Look at that illuminate. Hand of God, super about to fall to Mushi and will. Bernie's gonna get the kill with the toss in July. Might get caught out next. He's thinking about turning this around and maybe going on ice and ice with somebody. Riata Rift, it gets fogged. Now, the track is definitely on in July. Nice waiting rift coming in from Mushi. The orb will jaunt away, I'd imagine, up to the other side. Now, they're going to go on ice, ice, ice. They'll kill him with the purification, cleaning him up. Meanwhile, on the backside, Mushi getting bladed, Laguna bladed, in fact. He'll blink away. He'll survive. But DK, they're getting assaulted, and Burning's going to try to get to the high ground. Since our Conqueror stomp, not available. Nice avalanche coming through. This Centaur Conqueror is going to die, but Dreamtime are taking it to DK right now. And that's a good one. I mean, 
Suddenly, the CS shot is looking way better now for Burning. He had not the best start since he got Charland. And there goes oh the offensive boy. relocate. Oh no, that's a big one. Wushi blinks in and he immediately stuns up Dreamy U. So no stun. He gets the stun up onto Burning. He's still alive. Now he's not. MMY gets us chopped to pieces. And Burning, is he going to be the next on the list? Yes, he absolutely is. Reality to backwards. And here we go. It's Burning. Everyone is still alive because of those heals, man. It's just so good. They get one though. Yeah, Mushi Finally. will grab XCD on the way out. And I think in the end it was about a two for two or a two for three trade. I'm not 100% sure, but in July and the rest of Dreamtime handling that pretty effectively. And they're actually at the top of the net worth chart, but in July is getting sent home. He'll stay alive. Super is not going to be so lucky. They threw everything at him. They tossed. Well, not tossed. They shrewd and tossed, rather. They used the Dream Coil, the Waiting Rift, what have you. And that's just, uh, that's going to be it pretty much for, well, the unfortunate super getting caught out of position. Yep, and uh, we're checking the gold graph real quick. It looks like a roller coaster, but still, it's now spiking a little bit in DK's favor. And I want to say this is all because of the Ice 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 track gold, as well as obviously this yes. But apart from this, the experience is also spiking down. And this is really going to be the big factor here, I feel like. Yeah, I agree. I, I definitely agree that's probably the, some of the track gold is helping out um, DK for sure. So. I don't know. They're going to have to find a way to get some good fights, and they're going to smoke up and maybe look for a pickoff here. They'll try to find X or MMY, who's down bottom. He'll throw up a ward, too. They'll smoke into Roche first and foremost, or at least make sure that nobody's roaching. They won't get revealed, so they know that they're not there. XDD can TP in at a moment's notice. He's going for a low throws, by the way. He's quite close to it as well. The top tier one's getting focused down by Mushi. This should fall. There is a fortification, there's a glyph if they want to go for it, but Isis says he's going to run at it. They will glyph this. Now DK's backing off. They're second guessing themselves here. TP from XDD Radiant's on the backside. Wish is going to grab the kill. They'll jaunt Radiant's away. Ice, Ice, Ice. Sentry Ward, not there. Lanham getting caught out. No, he'll TP away. Mushi's on the high ground. Sprout is up. They spotted him out. Can they get this kill? Lose your orb. There's going to be a ward up on the high ground. Phase shift. He'll jaunt away onto the other side. From cliff to cliff. Now Mushi's going to get recalled. Looks like they're mm -hmm. going to send him back home and have him heal up. Okay, once again, back um, to the point with the Wisp. Apparently, Cod was bottom, so I still think it was the bug. But yeah, we, I'm going to watch the replay later on, because those things are really crazy. And No-Till did it once, and everyone was freaking out. And I'm not sure what really happened there. Maybe when you're in the air or something, but yeah. Uh, it's it's interesting. And meanwhile, in July, finding a nice stun here. It's a three-second one. Lam is getting eaten alive. Sunstrike array, and Wisp is coming in. The cavalry has arrived. Can they find the kills, though? That's the big question. Mushi, does he have a blink dagger ready to go? Yes, he does. But the call is kind of missed. Now blink it forward, Dreamy you. Well, expanding the call onto one. Maybe this is going to hurt them here. It's a trickle nonetheless. Throw up the Guardian's Angel. They grabbed a kill. Yep, on that Lena. She will go down. Lothar's up for XDD. Mushi might get caught out. They decide against it. They wanted to go for it for a second, but now they're going to try to turn this around. Maybe. They prop the drums and actually Ice 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 getting away. They throw the sentry down in that mid lane. So if Ice 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 gets close, they know. I'll have vision of them right now. And it looks like a one for nothing trade at the end of the day. That is a Midas at 18 minutes on Omni. Right. Who went for a four staff, by the way. So that's interesting. Yeah, interesting is I think the good, uh, the right thing to make here. Well, maybe it's just going to be going into the hex later on and decides it's time to six slot the Omni Knight. I mean, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I have no clue what's going on in this game. Also, Mushi is just roaming around here. He's got an Invis rune ready to go as well bots. as a, uh, smoke. Yeah, and bots. I mean, you can't kill him, but he wants to find a kill. Yeah, there's a lot of heroes around here for Dream Time. If he gets caught out of position, he might die. But yeah, with an Invis and bots, I think he's probably fine. Oh, toss the Avalanche. Doing a bit of damage to in July, but he's rather tanky with his drum completed now. But DK, they're starting to turn it around here. Blink forward, waiting rift in July and air. They come through with purification, the repel, keeping in July alive. The hand of God as well. Well timed. That might be enough. Mushi's in the trees. He cannot get that kill in July. He's like, well, I'm out of here. Goodbye. That's it. Yeah, he's staying in the trees. That's a good point here. But he's, I mean, he's staying there. He really wants to kill. There's so many more people. You have to really be careful about this one here. I think he's just going to oh, leave. I don't think Mushi's going to go for a kill. I think he's just going to go. Yeah. Maybe he oh, yeah, he had BOT's cooldown. Yeah. Okay. So he'll just walk away. He'll blink away as well. And Well, DK, they are actually losing in terms of kills by one, but it's a 4,000 gold lead for them at this point, and experience-wise, it's the same. So DK are... They're playing well. They're going to get that Aghanims. I think it just completed for burning at 20 minutes, which is not bad. He has found that farm, like you mentioned, and... 112 last hits in 20 minutes is pretty good. Um, he's level 11 as well. 
And that means he doesn't have level 3 grow yet, which will be so much damage with that Ags, but he's feeling pretty comfortable right now, and I think this is where it kind of gets bad for Dreamtime. It's going to be yeah. rough. Especially because Burning is going to be near this max movement speed of 522. I think he's on 507 or something, just with the face boots activated. He doesn't have any sort of more drum charges to boot, but I mean, who cares if you're hasted anyways? Let's do this. Let's go slam people down. He's got a freaking tree in his hands. No and well, maybe, maybe, maybe DT don't know about this and forcing a fight in the mid lane could really bait them in the rear here. Yeah, they see Burning right now though up in that top lane with that Aghanim Scepter. They know he's got a tree in his hand down bottom. Mushi split pushing, he has bots, and I think you probably go for a Hex here. You could go another item, but Hex seems to be the most likely. He'll pick up the ultimate orb, and that probably is the case. So at 21 minutes in, DK, they're starting to secure an advantage for themselves, and XDD Radiant's will TP top back top. He'll attack. try to push this back. He's got that Lothar, so Midas up a creep, but the overcharge coming in, whack, whack. There's the avalanche going on XDD, <laughs> just a little bit of harass damage, and yeah, that, that tower might very well fall. They already forded, so it's gone, yeah. Nice hit on Oh, super. Ice as ice. He's looking for him, and well, he's the one agent. He's got a bounty, yes, he does, and with TP coming in as well, they really want this kill here, and there's the throw of the potato, and oh, they're gonna get him easy. Burning wants more, though. But he decides to back off right now. Relocate's gonna end soon. Burning, though, getting Riata rifted, and a Chaos Bolt. Three second. There's the relocate nice bringing him out, though. Mushi doesn't want to fight. He'll lose your orb. Might jaunt. Yeah, Ice, Ice, Ice. Now they've got to choose. Looks like they won't go for either. All the while, Burning's top still and uh, can potentially push into that tier 3 if they'd like. But they're they're actually out split pushing that of DT, who have arguably the better pushers here in this game. Shuriken Toss, no XDD. XDD. Yeah, he should attack. live through this, I think. Yeah. Uh, purification, pretty good. Like, seriously, there's so much heal on the side of DT, and Radiant's it was helping them out so much in these attack. early skirmishes. Purification, and then you have your Chen mechanism and the heal ready to go. Man, that is much. And there is not even a mech done. I mean, <laughs> this is so much heal. Wow. Pair that with a pipe maybe coming out later on? Well, you're going to be really tanky. Yeah. But where's the damage coming from? Exactly. That's the question that I think everyone's wondering right now. And you could argue maybe Laguna Blade, but this Lena pick has been iffy, I think. She hasn't promoted that much. I definitely think that Omni Knight has done a lot of work this game. Um, and so has in July for the most part. But this Lena pick seems to be like the kind of questionable decision, I feel like, for dream time right now so um tt are gonna head bottom they'll maybe look for ice 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 i don't think they have a gem up yet nor do they have that bkb finish for in july which they really need ice 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 has one of his own by the way which is really nice and he's level 14 as well so ice 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 is feeling good yeah also llama's gonna be feeling really good about his agonim scepter soon to be and oh, he actually Lord. is gonna have it right after this camp here that's they made room for him. Wow, did they ever make room for him. And he oh, yeah. was just kind of, I think, just sit in the jungle and get that till it was pretty much done. So, there it is. There you go. Aghanim Scepter for DK Zalanum. Hell yeah, baby. Let's do this. Wait till it's daytime, man. I can't wait. It's going to be fun. Oh, yeah. But uh, Well, so the question is, how is this game going to be unfolding? Uh, DT is still going to be trying to push the advantage. I mean, they've got a Chen, they've got an Ancient oh, Prophet, they can split push, they can push as well. But, oh, maybe they're just going to find Mushi here. He'll face oh, shift face immediately it. and then jump away with the Blink Dagger. Jaunt here in a second, he'll make it out, but in July, pops the drum, four staff as well. Recall coming through, Mushi got a face shift away, and that'll send him down towards Coddle with Lottom there. And he's got, he's got the Ags, man, it's up and ready to go. He's got it, that ultimate... Pretty much on lockdown now. It's kind of crazy to think about. Mm, and that, exactly. that that vision also is so nice. <laughs> it's so good. It's disgusting. It's like an it ice is stalker, so crazy. But in the daytime. Yeah, it's the day stalker. I mean, it's the light stalker. Seriously. And also now with the blinding light, you got... I mean, right now it's got still 20 seconds cooldown, so that's kind of high for a 3 second duration miss. But it's still going to be very clutch. Reality... Oh, wait a second. They're going to be spawning out Ice Ice Ice. Okay, tracks him up. But what is their reader to be here? Ice Ice is just going to TP out. Yeah, he's going to be fine. Yeah. But it's a BKB charge down. Yeah, they waste the BKB. That's enough for them, I think. Mushi has a, a gem, by the way. And he'll start counter warding. As you see, he takes up the central ward in that mid lane. 25 minutes in, and it feels like DK, they're just trying to push this advantage. They don't want anything to, they don't want to do anything too crazy yet. And uh, Bounty Hunter's going for what looks to be a Diffusal Blade, by the way. Ice, hmm. ice, ice, man. Gets the repel. That's so smart. Yeah, that's a really good choice. Uh, yeah, like just to make sure that repel is not available. 
That's Be fearless. because that duration at level four is twelve seconds. A twelve second magic immunity is not what you want to have to deal with. So on the fourteen seconds cooldown, yeah. That's a really smart item choice. I mean, using it to mana burn or not, it's really good. But relocate's oh, available for burning and for MMY whenever they want it. If they want to fight bottom, CK they certainly bling. can. Ice, 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 getting caught out. Three seconds done. Purification, blinding light, dragon slave. They might finish it off with Laguna. If they're in position. Reality Rift coming in as well. Ice, Ice, Ice about to fall and will. Uh, resigned to his fate. He will go down. TP mid for Mushi with his bots. He wants to push this in and try to pressure this tier 2 tower. While they're going for this tier 1 in this bottom lane. So Blink take a CK and you meta? He picked it up. Oh, yeah, he okay. just got the kill because of it. He just blinked on the face of the bounty. So Ice, Ice, Ice was like, what? What, what? Why is there a Radiance CK blinking onto me? And well, attack. meanwhile, top lane burning, and obviously MMY just doing some squid push shenanigans. But oh man, there's XD. He's completely out of mana, though. A lot of fights happening right now. Burning, going to town on Dreamy U, but he gets stunned up with the light strike. But look at the queen hit up for burning at the end. XDD, he will kill that of MMY. XDD still following Michael after burning here, who is getting recalled by the way. They need to hit him once, but it's not going to happen. Kylo will bring him in. Burning will now maybe farm an ancient stack or just get healed up or something. But Mushi getting a solo kill on the Chen using a DD. His dream coil, his winning rift, all of his abilities coming into good use. Phase shift, he avoids the stomp. Oh, nice. nice swag from Mushi. Yeah, it's just so annoying to get your Chen army up. I mean, we're now 27 minutes in the game, so getting all those creeps in the jungle is not as easy as you might think it is, especially in the first 10 minutes. Like, you can't just roam there, you can't just go there, suddenly you just need your whole team to just come with you. Otherwise, there's going to be a puck just waiting for you and killing you as well. Yeah. And a Wisp DP in, so you can't even go with, like, two people. You need everyone to just guard you until you've got, like, those... At least one centaur, it's really mandatory for those team fights, and... Well, once again, Lam Gandalf himself saving a day here, and I still want to see him get a few more levels, maybe the level 12, pick up one more level in the spirit form just to have the lower cooldown on the blinding light, and obviously the lower teleport delay on the recall, but yeah, I mean, that's... You don't need it to speak of, it's already pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty nice to have, and he's been doing really well with it, but what's important to note, you talked about Super getting caught out, yeah, he's level 8. Um, he's the lowest level by far, and the lowest net worth as well, so... Super's gotta get something done. I mean, he has a mech, and I guess that's all he really needs, but... He'd probably like to have Penance and Test of Faith maxed out as well, so... It is now nighttime, just to keep that in mind. So, something to... Also, Mushi, or excuse me, Burning picked up the uh, Manta style as well, so... Attack speed, movement speed, illusions... And now the Diffusal as well, Repel, is not going to be an issue much longer so dk they're getting ready to i think make this sort of final engagement or go for roshan or something they just want to be able to pick up a tower or something in maybe the next couple of minutes here they'll try to stay top they have relocate reminded reminding you obviously in dream time they're sitting here on this high ground maybe looking for a pick off but they're not going to find them mm -hmm. yeah smart rotations from dk just everyone running the hell away there and well Looks like Lam might have to just pull some people out once again. Is it going to be a run your full situation? No, not yet. MMY still. Oh, he's going to be fine, it looks yeah, like. He's yeah, he's going to get brought back. Close one for MMY coming out there, but he'll survive. In. This is like, they just can't kill anybody. They just make rotations from Dreamtime, and all of a sudden it's like, oh, they're halfway across the map now. Whether it's through relocate, recall, or I guess Mushi's bots. It's like, what do you do against this? And now they're going to go for Roshan as well. This is the objective I was talking about. Overcharge for burning. His Hyperstone up as well. He attacks quite fast and, well, he'll probably just, with the help of MMY, take this Roshan down as quickly as possible. Dreamtime, they don't have any indication this is happening. It looks like for the most part anyway. Yeah, and as well as Mushi and Lam. I mean, you can try to get Lam, but that's all there is to it. Mushi, it's so hard to catch Mushi out of his uh, comfort zone and especially out of position. He's very active around the map, but he can just do it. He can go super aggro because he knows he's got a phase shift. He's a park. I mean, how can you kill a park? He's got a gem as well. There is no way to really surprise him. Maybe a blink dagger, CK initiation, but the cast animation on the Chaos Knight stun is way too long. The Chaos Ball is like... It's like an uppercut, so yeah. yeah. You need some time to just throw this one out. It is like an uppercut. That's a pretty, that's a pretty good way of, I think, figuring of what Chaos Ball is. It just is like... The wind-up time is ridiculous at some point, so... Yeah, Mushi getting caught out of position probably won't happen. With bots, like you mentioned, the gem, the blink dagger, and even an invis rune now. And recall and everything he's got going for him. Mushi, Silence. it's going to be tough to kill him. It's not impossible, but it's very difficult. 
DT are looking for yet another gank, but they're going to get spotted out by an illusion no here. And how unfortunate that, well, now everyone from DK knows pretty much where everyone from DT are, so. Alright. Yep, and XED in the meanwhile top lane just uh, doing his uh, XED stuff, which is obviously just split pushing his heart out, as well as a Hellbeer Smasher, so they're just using everything at their disposal to do some damage, some chipping damage Radiant's on the tower, but well, Blinding Light, here you go. That's an That's some commitment, but yeah. Attack. Oh wow, this is... That's interesting. Burning's getting caught out. He has an Aegis right now. They're gonna relocate him home. They don't want to waste that Aegis. They relocated him actually back to the Ancient Stack, and that means that MMY will go to his death more likely than not. We'll see if he can get that. He's actually getting recalled right now. Oh my god. There it is. They timed that perfectly. That's disgusting. That's a free kill gone for Dreamtime because of recall. That's ridiculous. Okay. <laughs> and someone is not happy about this one. Yeah, I'm well, sure well, that all well. chat is. That's very rare to see all chat in this type of Dota. You see it a lot in any Dota, but. Well, yeah, I mean, especially I, in WPCAs. Yeah, I gotta say, I mean, like, if you lose a kill like that, you gotta be like, I don't know. Like, what do we do? Like, what do we do in that scenario? So, there is a 10,000 gold lead for DK now. Experience wise, same story there. 10k experience lead. And. It's only growing as the game moves further and further. They're just choking out DT right now. They're not able to get tier 3s just yet, but they're getting close. This tier 3, top and bottom, they're about half health, and they'll probably put some more damage with these Mantis style illusions leading the way. With this cleave, they're able to take down the tower rather quickly. They should be anyways, but... Mushi continues yeah, to like they're not feeding. Yeah. yeah, they're not. Yeah, anyways, um, the wizard himself is now picking up a Blink Dagger, so he just wants to go full cast style and just blink around Radiant's the map. Teleportation is going to be his attack. name of the game. Get people to you, blink around the map, and well, I don't know, like, you can just do whatever the hell you want. You can even initiate this way. You can recall the tiny, blink dagger in, and then you can kill everyone. Okay, so that's a bit, you know, that's a bit crazy, but still, it could work, right? Yeah, I mean, there's so many things in this game that are absurd, but have worked yeah, out. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> the thing is also, like, imagine if Lanham gets, like, bots. That's just dumb. Like, Radiance what do you? What, oh, he's just gonna split push and just recall people. Like, what do you do against that? XDD tracked up. Hex actually on a creep. Unfortunately, phase shift's gonna go through. XDD. They use the guardian angel. There's the hand of God. Ice, 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 getting low. He'll fall. But they will pick up XDD in the end. They threw two ults up there just to get that kill on Ice, Ice, Ice to make sure XDD stayed alive a bit longer. That was crazy. Yeah. That was really crazy. What an ultimate coming up from the Omni Knight. And I, I'm questioning the Agnum Scepter usually, because I don't think the hero is centered around his ultimate too much. I think the repel is really his ridiculously strong point. But this way around, how I see it at the moment, they've got so much physical damage. The tiny, well, if you're completely immune to it, that's pretty good, right? Yeah. And also Ice as Ice, so there is so much which you, you, you blah. English, sorry guys, which you can actually evade with it. And Blink Dagger Gaming coming out now from DK. We've got triple Blink Daggers up on the DK side, just one on DT, and what the hell is happening? I, I don't know, man. I'm watching Dota. I don't know really what's going on other than that. But to be fair, this has been the most refreshing draft from both sides, I think, and the most refreshing draft I've seen all day. I've seen, like, axes, and we've seen, like, gyrocopters with axes in lanes, and it was cool and stuff like that, but... Uh, no one kind of expected this game to happen, and I'm happy that it is. But DK still clearly have this lead. I mean, I don't see them losing it anytime soon unless they take a really bad fight. But Burning is farming so well that he's going to outcarry the CK by a wide margin. CK still has yet to get his BKB if he wants to go for it at this point. He's got a Blink Dagger. He, right now, they're actually making XDD the carry because he's sitting on Lothar's and a Mjolnir. And probably going for a Scythe next oh, is really okay. no. Ultimate Orb. Oh. And, uh, yeah, that was actually, I think, just XDD TPing in farming. So. Yeah, yeah, I was like, oh, here, kill. Because it's it's nearly red, and he's orange. Yeah. I was like, yeah, let's, let's it's go. It's actually, like, really hard to tell with some of these heroes. Just like, are they mm. recalling? Are they relocating? Are they Radiant's TPing top from tower is under so, attack. Uh, DK, they're... They're tr they're taking this slow. It's being drawn out a bit. Now with an Assault Kuras, you have to imagine that Burning or whoever are going to go for a kill in a couple moments here. They still have this Aegis, but I think it's about to run out in at least another half minute or so. They can start going hard if they want to. They might get brought bottom. There's still a Tier 2 Tower mid, which has yet to take a hit, surprisingly enough. But MMY and Burning, are they're making their living in this top lane. They siege that Tier 3 Tower down to below half health, but still not dead yet. Ice, ice, ice with the defusal. He's used it once to try to maybe get a repel off, but... 
I don't know. This is gonna be interesting. Yes, especially considering burning. He's got one more slot which he can immediately, I want to say, buy. He's got his drums, and that's really all there is to it. I mean, he can just sell it and get something. Oh, are they gonna be catting him? Oh yeah, in July he's got a blink. They got two seconds done, but there is gonna be a relocate coming out here from MMI in just a bit. Does Radiant's he have it? Yes, he does. Is under attack. And let's see. Now suddenly, bottom lane is open. Let's do this, guys. Yeah, they're gonna go straight for this tier three tower. They've got to choose whether they want to go for yeah. MMI or Radiant's not. I don't know. They, they've they've made attack. this mistake before. Yep. Yeah. Yep. I don't know what they thought was going to happen there, but they're going to lose the range racks probably because of it. Well, they still have Glyph, mind you. They'll use it. Air has his Guardian Angel as well. Ice 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 getting caught out. He'll BKB. Nice blinding light in July. Blinking forward. Nice reaction time from Rishi. Ice Ice Ice. Oh, goes down just in the end with that crit like you mentioned coming out from in July, but they get the range racks nonetheless. And that's what happens when you try to kill a Wisp who's going to get relocated. Or excuse me, <laughs> recalled. This is really the crazy. Yeah, I don't know. Cardinal as well as the Wisp. That's really clowny stuff. I don't even... I... And there was a time, like, this would have been the perfect time to just throw out another Wooking from XTD. <laughs> it was been so justified. Wait, Burning. In July, going on MMY, looks like he's hexed up. He probably will fall here. Finally, they catch out this elusive Wisp, this elusive Io. Getting the kill there, it's been bothering them for so long. He'll be down for 43 seconds. I always been, uh, MMY is damn good on this hero, man. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, he won a star level with this hero. <laughs> it's not like, everyone knows it. Yeah, and also yeah. in July, but but still like, I'm really surprised how the Chaos Knight is panning out here so far. This Blink Dagger Chaos Knight shenanigans is actually really nice to see. Yeah, he's got his BKB now. They're gonna look for Mushi, and like we said, this is a tough, this is a tough hero to find. Mushi actually picks up another ultimate orb, so he's got a couple of options there. Um, I'm assuming it's not going to be a Scotty, but I've been wrong before. But, uh, yeah. Uh, I guess I, it's going to be Lincoln's. Lincoln's, I, yeah, I would say so. Yeah, I, that I makes mean, the most sense. Let's put it on Burning. It's going to be fine. Speaking of Burning, he finds in July. Three seconds done. Oh, man, he's dropping fast, though. Do they have everything? Yes, they do. Well, what the hell happened oh, there? Oh, boy. He reality rifted and it somehow put him on the high ground. Uh, and then I think it might have been the blinding light. Is no, not blinding light because it's on his own team. I'm not really sure how that worked, but I think it was maybe just blinding light, light to the high ground so and reality so rift like in the same second or something. Because blinding light doesn't interrupt you. Well, blinding light's on his own team, so that would make sense. Oh yeah, you're right. That's why I was like saying no. I mean, myself. I mean the CK. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. You're right. Yeah, that might have been it. All right. Well, maybe it was right the first time. Either way, guys, a lot of shenanigans <laughs> happening. They're going to find Lonham. They'll sprout him up. He's going to TP away, but he's dead. Dream time. They're finding picks, man, all over the map. They're getting kills. This is what they need. Mushi's not been really involved in a fight in a while. He is going for that Lincolns, like you mentioned. He'll try to push out bottom and go for that melee racks. There's a big wave coming through. Lina's going to come here. Meanwhile, they might fight mid. No burning, no Lonham for about 40 seconds. Do they want to go? They're going to relocate down bottom. They're going to try to take this oh, Lina down. Track is up. Dreamy you. There's the hand of God coming through the right clicks. It'll be enough to get the kill. Mushi now. Dream Coil and in July. Kept him there. They pushed him back. That tier 2 tower. Relocate now back to that mid lane. So getting a nice little kill there on in July. Not taking that melee racks, but I don't really think they needed it. And another gem now purchased up for Keeper of the Light here. They'll deny the tower. Well played there as the Siege Creep was sending it down. And Ice 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 now maybe on Hot Pursuit. No, we'll back off instead. Yeah, he's going to be completely fine. And there is another TP coming in. Ah, uh, it was cancelled. All right. Uh, everything is good to go once again. And wow, that's a really smart pickup here by Ice Ice Ice. Um, it's a late game Vladimir's offering. But considering the Tiny is sitting for 300 damage flat on his white damage, which is going to be getting increased by 16 times 3 should be 48 damage. That's such a good item. It's essentially demon edge for free for burning as well as some life leech, which he really kind of needs here. Yeah, life steal is going to be really nice to have. The extra armor is an added bonus as well. So, uh, pretty good item coming out right now from Vlad's. And uh, yeah, I mean five armor. That's that's pretty damn good, I'd say, just for that kind of item. He'll TP down bottom, and Mushi's going to be joining him here. Maybe looking for a pick off. Lothar is now up on XDD. The gem is up on Lon. Last time I checked, Ice 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 does not have one. He has track, but that's not going to help him now. Mushi, he used to have the gem, I believe, but it's gone. Ice 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 yeah, about to get caught out. Yeah, there we go. Four seconds done. XDD with a bit of a premature BKB pop, but it doesn't matter. They're going to look for Mushi, who can just jaunt away here in a couple seconds. He can blink into the trees, and he should be fine. They're going to sprout up, look for him. If Mushi makes his way over there, he's going to try to find an XDD. No, he'll phase shift. He'll jaunt away. He'll blink out as well. Still Radiant's on hot pursuit while that's happening. Space has been Radiant's created. They take down the tier three. They'll make the Manta illusions and go to town on both air and this melee racks. But 
Lanham is clearing out the rush pit as well. Oh, Mushi oh, getting hexed up. XDD looking for the kill. And he gets it. He does some damage, man, with that scythe. The Lothar's in. Well, even the uh, Mjolnir on top of that. Crazy. What, what What is happening in this game so far? I mean, there's a lot of damage being done to the melee racks, but suddenly everything is just regenerating up. And, I mean, so far it's still doable for DT. They don't have the craziest late game, but not the shape is either. I mean, the CK, if he gets some nice crits off and his new ultimate is going to be so crazy. And, uh, well, maybe they're just going to go uh, and kill everyone here. Burning, relocated oh. out again. How many times has MMY saved oh, him in this so game? Too many to count, I think. They'll finally take down this tier one tower, maybe. Relocate back in. I don't think they're ready to fight this. Relocate and then recall, potentially. Can they get it again? Every time, man. Every Perfect. freaking time. Absolutely perfect. Lanham has had that timing down spot on, so it's been impressive to watch, I'd say. They'll get the tier 1 tower, though, which is at least a consolation prize. Yep, it feels like they practice this sort of stuff. It's just so much on point. Attack. Yeah. Crazy stuff. It, it's like the same deal as with a Naga Siren and a Marana Arrow. It just comes down to execution, and if you practice it, like... And, and I mean, these are pro players, so they've got the time, and right. they've got the resource to do so, so yeah, I wouldn't be too surprised. I mean, arguably the best team in the world. Yeah, I mean... It's mm -hmm. no surprise that they've got this going. BKB for Ice 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 forced out. The cast bolt wasn't even thrown. He actually just used the animation and then canceled it with stop. But they've got to go home right now. Uh, Burning's going to get hexed up, sprouted as well. A lot of TP rotations. Burning getting low. Hill. Manta out of the sprout. Air chasing him down with DJ and Aura. I don't know if they can get this. MMY's nearby. Still nobody else here. Avalanche flying through. Does stun up air. He'll repel himself now. Burning on the run. Do they have relocate? They do just right now. Tosses up. There's the Laguna Blade. Burning to try to man up no. right now. He relocated him out, but without burning. Oh, wow. That is unfortunate. He'll have to buy back now. He'll TP mid. They're going to try to go for Roshan. That, that's one of the times where you will see a missed uh, execution there, it looks like. Uncharacteristic. Uh, but still, I mean, they do have the buyback. They're going to take Roshia right now, so the buyback is not going to be coming into... Too much of a play. There is a oh, Nature's Prophet ultimate was just a uh, teleportation was just cancelled here, and yeah, Burning is going to be spotting the Ages of the Immortal. So this guy, he's got 4k gold in the bank, and even though he just bought back, that just shows how much is of a bank he had. So he can just buy whatever item he wants to. And well, to be quite frank, hmm, what is he going to be going? Maybe Satanic? Maybe just Mjolnir? There are so many good options. Even a butterfly could be in here. I don't know. I, I almost feel like, and I know this is crazy to think, that he doesn't do enough damage. I That's just the way I think right now. If he had like another item, he could maybe take down those towers a bit faster and even win fights a bit faster. But I mean, it's absurd to think that because he's got 310 plus 27 and, and an Assault Kuraz for armor reduction plus Mantis Illusions on top of that. But I don't know. It seems like he's been not underwhelming, but Maybe he goes for BKB though, because he's been getting caught out a bit, and then he can actually mm -hmm. like fight. Also, would be fine. And there is nothing except for the Omni Knight ultimate really stopping him, and a few post offs here and there. But that's all there is to it. And well, if you find a nice team fight, suddenly DT are just gonna die because the damage. Oh, super again, super. Man. Yeah, he's dead. That is that is dead. Chen. Gem uh, is on the ground. He's gonna pick it up. Oh, Guardian Angel going the top lane. Rax is falling low, Radiance not low enough to fall yet. Radiance Courier will go down. Now the relocate on. Well, unfortunately, Dreamy. He's gonna go ahead and go Scepter, but the Avalanche doing work. Nice stun. The Light Strike Array doesn't matter. Laguna Blade MMY so low should survive. His relocate is up. He'll wand up as well. I think he's getting brought back to the top lane. He's gonna blink away to the side and get recalled at the same time. And Mushi's gonna oh, go wow. back mid and defend. My goodness, MMY. Geez. I just got word uh, in the top lane, like right here, when there was no tether. Omni Knight actually repelled the tiny, so there was no tether back. And this is why it stopped. Wow. That's impressive. Holy shit, yeah, what a player. Next level. If this is true, like, I, I didn't see it and, and I can't verify, but this is really a game where I'm gonna watch the replay and just take notes here, because this is some ridiculously crazy Chinese Dota, and maybe this is where the, this patch meta is going to be heading for the first few weeks because both of these teams are just playing some crazy stuff it's just so in depth i don't know i don't think we'll see these types of heroes picked again for a while at least i mean io and tiny yeah that makes sense lanham on the keep of the light uh, maybe i mean he got the agatums so i guess it's done okay i mean recall having that pretty much at all times is really nice to have so that's pretty damn good mushi is on his puck, so no surprise there. He's got his hex up now. He's got 3k gold in the bank. They have the Aegis for burning, and uh, he'll pick up a link of his, of his own. Actually, he sold the drum too. So it's not so much about doing damage. It's more so about surviving. And I said maybe a BKB, but a Lincoln Sphere might be a bit better here. 
up against, well, a Hex, a Chaos Bolt, or what have you. I think this is a fine item choice for burning. Yeah, I want to say definitely. This is a good call here, and... Well, the Lincoln Sphere, they've got so many Lincoln Sphere, they can all also stack this if they want to. Oh no, Mushi's getting caught out, he is hasted, Lincoln and he's Sphere. got a Lincoln Sphere, it's so good right now, and... Yep, yeah, that's all there is to it. They'll waste Wonderful. a lot of time trying to kill Mushi while that's all happening. Ice 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 continue pressure down bottom, and... This game at 46 minutes in, it feels like DK have had the advantage for some time now, and yeah, it's a 15,000 gold lead. Experience-wise, still about 10k. It's dipped back and forth a bit in, well, the past couple of minutes or so. They've gotten a couple of kills going their way. DK have yet to really five-man and fight as five in this game, and I don't know if they ever will. Uh, they'll probably just try to take these Raxes down one by one, and, well, it starts with this melee Rax, which is regen up. Look at the damage. Oh, okay. Jesus Christ. Yeah, the damage is very real coming up for burning right now. Disgusting. Assault Kuras will melt both Raxes. He gets a bit of time finally to work on them, and, well, he'll just knock them down in about five seconds flat, so that's that. That's a set of Rax gone, and, well, now there's three buildings down. The range Rax top. And you talked about the damage, yeah. and suddenly burning delivers, and it's a Lincoln's Fair. I mean, it's no damage item per se, but it is still a bit of stats, some attack speed, a little bit of damage as well, and that's all there is to it. I mean, he's just doing work. I mean, look at this tier 2, just I, getting like, what, 5 shotted? Yeah, I, I think it was mostly just because he Radiance was using his Mantis Illusions and he never was going in full throttle on his own. I don't mm -hmm. know, it seemed like when he was hitting the heroes it wasn't doing much damage, but... Oh, in July? Was yeah. she? Was she just wanted to hex him up and then back off, he couldn't get that Rax, but... The Rat Dodo is alive right now, coming out for DT, or not DT, rather, but DK. I mean, XDD is up here, maybe looking for a pickoff, who, by the way, has a Daedalus, so he has some farm. He'll cancel another TP here to the secret shop, and it keeps going and going, but now he's going to go home instead. Up to where that Tier 3 used to be in that top lane, he'll make some trance, and Burning still has Aegis. Do they finally 5 man? Do they go for a fight? Do they push in? I don't see what's stopping them here. He can just continue to split push if he wants to. He'll throw up his Mantu Illusions. Life Strike Array is going to go. They still have the Lincoln Sphere. It's going to get popped with Penance. And they'll back off for the time being, but maybe they go. Aegis Preclaimed in a minute. Mushi's going to go bottom. They refuse to fight as five for DK. Mm hmm. Yeah, it looks like. And, um. Well, the thing is, are they really going to be going five men? I feel like they should. But at the same time, why not play it safe? You can still just push it out. And maybe, since the Aegis is not going to be up for, um, I want to say, 30 more seconds, maybe you just go Roche again. Yeah, I think they'll probably wait for another Roche shine here. But Blink coming in. Burning getting caught out. Pinballed around. Three seconds down on him. He gets relocated again. This time back to the base. And uh, MMY should be able to get out just fine. Air actually repelled himself that time, in case you were wondering. And, uh, MMY? Radiance no, tower no, no luck. Attack. No luck there, unfortunately. Lincoln Sphere in the mid lane. Mushi getting caught out. Dragon Slave. Shiva's Guard's gonna fly. He hacks up XDD as well. Lose your flying through air and super. And in July, the cavalry have arrived. Burning getting recalled to the engagement, potentially. And they're gonna just go bottom and split push again. Nah, uh, yep. Looks like it. This and that's surprising. Rat oh, XDD. What's he gonna be going for? Uh, he's got 3k gold in the bank, he's got a BKB, a Mjolnir. I don't really know what he needs at this point. Uh, I don't really... I'm not sure. Radiance oh, he finds Mushi. Under oh, that's a big one. If they can kill him, it's a 3 seconds done. Look Radiant at the damage coming out. Mushi's is face no. shift. Is he gonna blink out? No, he's oh, dead. What? He's dead. Attack. He couldn't blink out in time, unfortunately. But, well, that's happening. They used the Guardian Angel, which was really smart, but Burning's gonna go to town. Look at the cleave. Ghost Scepter's up. XDD sprout through. This is a big fight, maybe. Will they keep going? Burning taking a bit of damage here. Air is chasing after him. Look at the right click from Burning going to town. Lincoln Spear broken. Tosses up. Sprout again. He can knock it out, but he can cleave through the trees for all damn day. Now they're gonna try to go on MMY. They will Laguna Blade him down. He'll buy back. He might relocate. Burning so low. The Hex is up there. Taking damage. The Mjolnir charge. The overcharge going through. Can he get at least XDD? No. He'll stay alive. Burning will fall. He'll buy back. Now Ice 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 going to town. Gets the kill on the CK. Wants the Rax. He'll find it. Burning is back, baby. He's ready to go. He's still cleaving people down. That is two sets of Rax done. Lanham getting a kill on the backside, I believe, on the Lina. Now in July, looking for Burning. Lincoln Spirit is popped. There's the Phantasm. They're going to chase Blinding Light. 
Will they turn and fight this? The Mets sell illusions going to town on the tier three. They'll kill it there real quick. Air Sinks, please help our base. Burning gonna turn on this. He misses the stun on in July, but he gets it on all the Phantasm illusions. MMY is hexed up. XDD, he'll get cleaved down. Hand of God going through. Burning wants to focus him on the backside. They pick up MMY. Lonham is trapped by a couple of creeps. There's the Illuminate going through. The toss is up. XDD finally dead, but he'll buy back. Burning now on the run. He's getting chased down. He still has his Manta Cell if he wants to use it. Bot's not available for about 8 seconds. He'll use the Manta. Lincoln Sphere's got to get popped with Sprout. Maybe a Hex. I'm not sure which one, but... Keeping the light, getting a kill on the backside. That was on Shen getting caught out. We're not done yet here, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, boy. Dream Coil in July's got to use the BKB. One more right-click will do the job. It's the Illusions doing it. XDD getting low. Lana wants to right-click him down himself, but will not. It's got to be burning with a double kill. No buyback for 120 seconds. For the Fury, and this, this has got to be it, finally, in this first game, which DK have dominated. Middle are well, one attack. left. One building left, you mentioned earlier. It was three, and now it's just one. And look at Burning just chopping it down. That's it. It's going to be Megas up here for the side of DK, and they're not stopping. They just want to end this right here, right now. GG's being called, and holy smokes, what a game it's going to be. And that was crazy. I'm just completely blown away here. I don't think anybody was expecting those picks, and I was impressed by... If anything, MMY's play on that IO, he played so well. They split pushed so effectively against a team that arguably had better push. In Dreamtime, though, they played well. It wasn't like they got outplayed. Maybe, I don't know, their draft was a bit questionable. Lena didn't do that much in the end. Chen was very, very, very underfarmed. He died eight times and was only level 13. So that'll be the end of this game. We've got one more game to go, guys, here on Beyond the Summit. The last one. It'll be Dreamtime versus DK, game number two here in a two-game series. Once again, my name is Mott. You can follow me at twitter.com slash mottdata2. With me is Pimpmuckle. You can follow him at twitter.com slash pimpmuckle. Leave us any comments or shoutouts or what have you in Twitch chat or on Twitter if you enjoyed the cast or what have you. So we will get out of here real quick, guys. Stick around. Next game's coming right up.